All right, welcome back to the 40 channel. So um, what we're gonna to do today is I'm gonna show you how I made my uh, rivet installer. I've got a bit to learn about this 40. thing I had to do was make up a tool so I can install the rain gutter to the fiberglass roof so that's where this came in handy um, now I'll show you how I made it and uh, we'll show you a comparison between using your standard uh, rivet that you can get from um, again your fastener shop or, or your local hardware shop um, you'll see the difference. I'll show you the difference. Here it is here. You can see that um, the standard one doesn't look very pretty. Um, I saw in a lot of American videos, they just use these. It's cheating. It doesn't look very nice. The aluminium solid rivet to give you that original look way better. Okay, so a big thing about this is vice grips. Yes, your vice grips, once you've made this tool, you can't go back and use them as vice grips again, even if you cut off this lug that I've welded on because as you'll see, I've grinded this flat here uh, to, to make it work. Do not skimp on cheap vice grips, okay? Don't skimp on cheap vice grips. That's number one key. I'll show you how we made it. Fairly simple, so you can make your own. Um, uh, about 10 and a half mil. I got some 10 mil I've got 200 of them um, and I'm pretty sure this says uh, four Land Cruiser FJ40 rivets. Top of the rivets just over five mil. All right, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So that should make our die. Trying to round that out a bit. That rivet sits in there beautifully now. Now I'll weld our die on the top. And the idea is it'll come down and hopefully press and make a rivet. Right, uh, so I've got a bit of a uh, bit of leftover rain gutter repair. Just a bit of plastic that's about the same thickness as the uh, fiberglass. So we'll drop the rivet the bottom okay. right, so it seemed to squash down pretty easily but it doesn't seem yeah. a bit tighter seemed to work okay give another test run all right let's try that again rivet in plastic at the bottom Okay, so we'll use our locating piece to hold that rivet in place on the bottom. And squeeze. Oh, look at that. That one is awesome. That's perfect. And that's solid as. That is not going to move. So, let's try one test one on the fiberglass and the roof and we'll see how that comes up. Right, uh, so we're going to test one more rivet on the actual roof, on the rain gutter of the roof, see if it actually works quite well. 
Locate that onto the bottom. Squeeze it down. That's what the top of the rivet looks like. A lot later than the, uh, the normal rivets you get from Bunnings. That's come out quite neat. Let's have a look underneath. Oh, that is so neat. I'm totally stoked how my little handmade tool came together. Looks a bit rough, but it works amazing. Nailed it. I'm so happy with how the rivet turned out. Flip the roof over i've got to revisit and show you again because this is awesome all right so that's my new rivet that i've put in that's what uh some other people are using it does the job it's effective i wanted to look original as much as i could anyway stoked this is my dad's old sj40 carrot pretty lame eh well now this is my dad's new FJ40 keyring from Feuds Good. Here's the little FJ40 keyring. Now it's this compared to this. We don't need this anymore. Bye bye. Now you've seen how my dad made the rivet clamp, subscribe, like and hit that bell. Bye!